What do people value in life? And how much of what gives people satisfaction in their lives is fundamental and shared across countries? And how much is unique to a given society? Let's find out. So Pew Research, which is a major research uh, organisation, international one, posed an open-ended question about the meaning of life to nearly 19,000 adults across 17 advanced economies, westernised economies. And it was an open-ended question. There was no hints about what the answer was. In fact, here is the question. We're interested in exploring what it means to live a satisfying life. What aspects of your life do you currently find meaningful, fulfilling, or satisfying. Now, from analysing people's answers, it is clear that one source of meaning is predominant, family. In 14 of the 17 advanced economies surveyed, more mention their family as a source of meaning in their lives than any other factor, the exceptions being Spain, South Korea and Taiwan, where it was nevertheless still found to be amongst the top four factors in giving one's life meaning. So here is New Zealand's top five, and you'll see there family, occupation or jobs, friends, material well-being, and finally society, uh, which basically means community as well. In New Zealand, Australia, Greece, and the United States, around half or more say their family is something that makes their life fulfilling. Highlighting their relationships with parents, siblings, children, and grandchildren, People frequently mention quality time spent with their family members, the pride they get from the accomplishments of their relatives, and even the desire to live a life that leaves an improved world for their offspring. Now, jobs are also one of the top three sources of meaning for people in most places surveyed. Many also highlight the importance of having one's basic financial needs met. In nine of the 17 countries surveyed, Material well-being is one of the top three factors people cited. In fact, in South Korea, it even emerges as the top source of meaning. Health, too, is relatively top of mind, coming up as one of the top three sources of meaning for people in around a third of the places surveyed. And notably for most, uh, the research has found that this emphasis on health is not tied directly to the COVID-19 pandemic. And still others who mention both health and COVID-19 and their responses are largely appreciative of their health because of the global pandemic. It certainly taught us what we need to appreciate. Now, the topic of faith, religion and spirituality is also one where some societies notably differ. Outside of the US, religion is never one of the top 10 sources of meaning cited. And no more than 5% of any non-American public mention it. New Zealand, along with the UK, Australia, France and Sweden, also stand apart for the relative emphasis that they place on nature compared to many others surveyed. In each of these countries, nature is one of the top eight sources of meaning. Also of note in the survey is that men and women are quite similar with regard to what gives them meaning. People with higher levels of education and higher incomes tend to be more likely to mention their family and career as things that give them meaning. And those who place themselves on the left of the ideological spectrum are more likely to cite nature as a source of meaning. They're also more likely to mention their friends and hobbies, whereas those on the ideological right mention religion more often. Now, these findings are especially interesting since Pew's research was conducted overwhelmingly in Western countries. And in these societies, often lauded as uh, post industrial and individualistic, people are said to be self centered, they're egoistic, and sometimes even narcissistic. And consumerism might be a part of Western society and culture, but these results suggest that it is not central. There may be additional partial explanations for why family was so prominent as a source of meaning for the majority of the respondents of this survey. The obvious one may be that the research was conducted during a time when many countries were suffering from the lockdowns in response to COVID. And I'm sure you found that during the COVID lockdowns, it was a time that families actually reconnected, had the chance to sit together, had more time together. And actually that was one positive that came out of the lockdown. You know what? Family is here to stay. 
and we ignore strong, stable families where there is commitment and love at our peril. It doesn't matter how much they repeat that the nuclear family is not timeless, but a 1950s invention that we should ignore. Family is here to stay, and that's a great thing. Mm -hmm.